scarlet blaze, severing the past. After a furious march, Edelgard's army restores a measure of peace to the imperiled lands of Hrim, only to learn of a revolt at Fort Mercius, staged by the deposed Duke Eyre. The disturbance in Hrim was but a feint to give those who slither in the dark time to capture Mercius, and eventually the capital of Enbar. But Edelgard moves to thwart them. Have you heard, Duke Iyer? Viscount Minya has hastened from afar to join your cause. Our houses, Fenya and Menya, share a distant blood ancestor. And now we stand together again to save the Empire from her plight. Hastened from afar with what? That miserable smattering of soldiers? From what I hear, Menya's heir is a rabid supporter of the Emperor. Are you certain the father is not being foisted on us just to get him out of the picture? Absolutely not. And besides, all of House Fenya is united behind you. If we appeal to the other lords jointly, I'm certain a multitude of troops will flock to Fort Mercius. I should hope so. I've no idea why they'd side with that pathetic excuse for an emperor. Only I, Ludwig von Eyre, can restore Adrestia to its former glory. About those mages, they say they want to, uh, alter the fort's defenses? Fine, fine. Let them do as they wish. So long as we're outnumbered, we must embrace creative solutions. Edelgard will strike the moment we give any indication we're after the capital. We'll lure her troops inside, then dispose of them all at once. It will be an easy victory. I always knew you were a brilliant tactician. They will never see it coming. Now, if we might discuss key posts in your future administration. I can only hope Her Majesty is weak and foolish enough to be so ensnared. It was never my intent to divide the Empire in war. That's not what I wanted. If she'd said one word, one word, indicating there might be a place for me, None of this would have been necessary. Enough. I must purge my mind of such thoughts. I must win. I must prevail over her. And if I cannot, you must be the one to cut me down, Ferdinand. Edelgard, do you have a moment? Of course, Ferdinand, but please keep it short. It is about my father. My pleas for a fair trial cost you time and delayed his sentencing. It also gave the Knights of Saros an opening to conduct their raid, which provided him ample opportunity to stage an escape. I am to blame for all that has transpired. Let me hurry you along to the point, if I may. What are you going to do about it? Or, more likely, what do you want me to do about it? Put me in the field when we retake Fort Mercius, and permit me to rectify my own mistake. Will you allow me that? <sighs> I was wondering when you'd ask. Don't worry, I've already made the arrangements. But you mustn't do anything reckless. You will stick to the battle plan, and that is a direct order. Ah, Edelgard, you are the very picture of reason, the very epitome of wise stewardship. Enough. You can gush over me after the battle if you still feel the urge. We've no idea how things will go after all, and you may be in a very different mood. True. All the same, I am grateful. Thank you. 
You can come out, Hubert. I know you're listening. I came to give you the latest report, Your Majesty, but decided to wait until this other business reached its conclusion. Then you know what must be done. Make sure he's given protection. Oh, I will if I find the time. You do keep me quite busy, after all. You've found a way to take care of them? I can assure you, those Cretans will rue ever setting foot in Her Majesty's fortress. They wanted thick walls, and we will give them the thickest ones a coffin can provide. This is our chance to decimate the forces of those who slither in the dark. Idea. Hey, so hear me out. What do you think of this? Hey, so hear me out. I'll do what I can. Shall we? Excuse me. Well. Must you work so hard? Come to think of it.
You're busy? what you're thinking. What did you need? Hmm. Oh, it's you. Unbelievable. I'm honest. Greetings, friend.
So what do you think? Hey there. Oh, I know. Right on. Hmm. Care to be training? I must be telling you. I be of service. that. Oh, it's you. Actually. That makes sense. I am grateful. I am grateful. Moment of your time.
points. Got a sec? My brain's all jumbled up. Let's see. Uh, you sure? What's going on? Right. 
Let's see. How can I serve? Well, well. Might I borrow you? Are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Hey there. Need something? Is this it?
this it? Is this it? Is this it? See you around. Hey there. Need something? See you around. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. I carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. like me. For training, you'll be unstoppable. Time to work you into shape.
proper tra training. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I wish this was for something besides war. Training together sure beats doing it alone. <laughs> Training together sure beats doing it alone. A new power is now being mine. Training together sure beats doing it alone. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. Training together sure beats doing it alone. Yes, this makes sense. There must be more to this. I'll surely put this to good use. <laughs> Training together sure beats doing it alone. Training together sure beats doing it alone. <laughs> Training together sure beats doing it alone. Hey, that's not half bad. Today, I'll show you some moves only us mercenaries can get away with. I can't wait, Captain. That was way better than going it alone. Hope this is good for something. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Hunger is the true enemy.
This is great. I bet anyone would love this stuff. Marianne, you shouldn't just eat in silence. Try making some small talk. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to talk about. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Look, you've got food all over your face. Hold still and I'll wipe it clean. Please, stop. I'm an adult. I can do it myself. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. This is pretty good for Merc Grub. You could learn a thing or two, Leone. I could make something as good as this. No sweat. I've been working on my cooking skills, you know. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. How'd you know I love this stuff? <laughs> you must be more clever than I thought. Wow! That hit the spot! I'm so glad we're friends! Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Someone knows my weakness. Thanks. Wait, for me? Great. 
I love this stuff. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Anyone would love this stuff. Ah, a high quality meal suitable for my refined palate. I am most grateful. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Anyone would love this stuff. Hey, my favorite! You sure know how to brighten a guy's day. Oh, this looks great. I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure. Come back whenever you're hungry. Good news. We've dislodged another foothold those who slither in the dark held in Empire territory. Good news? That's great! So that soldier was one of theirs after all, huh? He was. It's uncanny how you managed to identify their agents so precisely. Ordinary spies would be one thing, but these villains are another entirely. I'd like to say it's just intuition, but there's more to it than that. It's my power. Their magic is almost identical to the one I use, so it's not hard for me to pick up on. Guess we have Hubert to thank for connecting the dots between the two. How strange that you would hold such an important key. The more I look back, the more I realize... Without you among our ranks, I may never have broken the stranglehold those who slither in the dark exerted on the Empire. Me? What did I do? Our hidden foe was deeply entrenched in almost every facet of Adrestian society. The two were almost inseparable. And so I turned a blind eye to the lives that were being lost to their cruel designs. Opting instead to focus my energy on preparing for war. But then, you came along, and helped show me a way to kill two snakes with one stone, as it were. You were the cog that was missing from the turnwheel. The one final push that urged me to act. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Whatever that means. You can be so confusing sometimes, you know that? Forgive me. You may be the only person I know who would look an Emperor in the eye and speak their mind so freely. I don't know. I could totally see Ferdinand doing it too. Yes, I can see your point. It was my mistake. In any case, I'd like you to know just how pleased I am to have you fighting alongside us. You were a perfect stranger who owed nothing to the Empire. Yet you're still here. That means much. Eh, it wasn't that big a deal. I just needed some gold and figured if anyone was going to have the coin to spare, it'd be the Empire. You know, some things are best left unsaid. Oh, and you were really quick to compliment me back at the Academy. That left an impression for sure. I mean, most nobles don't give us marks the time of day. But you were different. It's nice to hear you say that. And hey, I was right about you. I wouldn't be shining half as bright as I am today if I didn't hitch my wagon to yours. Trust me, no regrets here. <sighs> anyway, back to it. Victory is so close I can almost smell it. And I'll be right here by your side the rest of the way. No stopping till we've united all of Fodlin. We will reach the end of this path soon. All of us. Together. always doing that a question if I may have you had any further contact with our slithering friends since that day not in the slightest why do you know something yes actually what with the riots in Rim territory and the former Duke Ayers attempted rebellion Thanks to that, we now have a lead on the insurgents within the Empire, as well as those who slither in the dark. Speaking to the latter, I also tried to determine if they had been attempting to reach you, or otherwise thought you an ally. But at present, it seems neither is the case, regrettably. You and I have been talking a lot lately, Hubert. About the future of the Empire? Promoting commoners? I would have hoped I'd earned your trust by now, but I guess that's not how this thing goes. Not to say I don't get where you're coming from. The Emperor's right-hand man can't afford to let his guard down. Believe me, it brings me no joy and, in fact, some guilt to doubt yourself. But I must be prepared for any eventuality. Who needs must, I have made even my greatest enemy feel as though they are a trusted friend. Yet, at times I have also shown extreme suspicion towards those who were, in all manners, undeserving of it. Yeah, I get it. Keep your cards close to the chest. Never let them know what you're actually thinking. You really are something, you know that? I'm just glad we're on the same side. I must admit, I only tell you all this because I do, in fact, consider you deserving of my trust. Even if you were once connected to those who slithered in the dark, that is clearly behind you now. So believe me when I say, I have the utmost confidence in you. I'm not sure how much you really mean that, but I'm glad to hear you say it at least. Thanks, Hubert. How very diplomatic. Just the response I would have expected from you. Enough on that, though. Our problem now is what lurks beneath your mind's veneer. 
What do you mean? I can sense another you, bubbling away behind the one you present to the world. Call it intuition. What really worries me is that you may one day shed this husk you bear now and become that someone else entirely. <laughs> Another me, huh? Well, I appreciate the concern, but even if that someone does exist, I won't let them overtake me. I mean, come on! I'd shove that other me right back where they came from and earn your trust once and for all. Though, just so we're clear, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Very well. I suppose I will have to take your word. For now. In any case, I hope that as we inscribe Fodlin's new future, we do so with you by our side. speak with you a moment oh yeah I was just about to take a break you need something our relationship has been strained for a while so I thought it was time to resolve our issues uh, it has yes at least I felt that way ever since the incident Oh, you mean that time I found you hiding out and chowing down on some pastries? I didn't think anything about that. And I didn't tell anyone either. No, not that. Well, yes, there was that. But there was another, more defining incident. Remember? Are you talking about the time I treated you like a kid and you got all mad? Yes, of course that's what I'm talking about. That happened a long time ago. Has it really been eating at you ever since? Well, I mean, I was unable to maintain my composure and got rather aggressive with you over trivial details. I kept telling myself that I had to apologize, but I could never bring myself to do it. But now, I'm... Uh... I'm sorry. Well, I'd like to apologize too. I should have been more careful with what I said. Why does being called a kid upset you so much? If you don't think of yourself that way, then any comments of the kind should be like water off a duck's back. Look, I'm a tiny bit younger than everyone else, and it doesn't help that I'm shorter too. Plus, I do have somewhat of a baby face. Really? You don't look that young to me. You... you don't think so? Yeah. Now that I really look at you, I think you're a very pretty young woman. You act real mature, too. Oh no, I'm not really. But most importantly, your skill at commanding troops puts all the real adults to shame. Real adults? So what you're saying is that I'm ultimately still just a child? Ah, oh, crud, I misspoke. What I meant was... There you go, making excuses again. Now I know exactly what you think of me. This conversation's going sideways again, isn't it? Huh. It would seem so. Though... I suppose forgiving you would be the mature thing to do. Hey, there you go. See, you are a real grown-up, Lysithia. Something about this still rubs me the wrong way, but... Oh, fine. I just ask that you keep treating me like the adult I am. What a wonderful meal. 
Hey, you've still got some food left. You don't want it? That Ogma Wolverine meat's super hard to come by, you know. Oh, I don't really eat meat. You can have it. Don't mind if I do, then. You know, I always feel strangely energized after eating this stuff. <laughs> you look so pleased to be eating it. If not every day I get to hear you laugh. Did I look funny or something? No, it's just that the look on your face made me feel happy. Instead of just watching other people stuff their faces, maybe you'd enjoy trying some yourself? I'm perfectly content just watching. Huh. Well, anyway, it seems like you've gotten more comfortable eating with me, Marianne. I have. When you told me not to act like someone I'm not, at first I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still thought I could learn something from you. And as I talked with you more, I just got used to us sitting together. I see. Then why not branch out and eat with other people too? Mealtimes are a great opportunity to make new friends after all. Making conversation and sitting around the dinner table go hand in hand. That's how we ended up friends, right? It might be a good chance to get to know someone else. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... My adoptive father said the same thing to me once. He did? He often criticized me because I avoided other people so much. He said that, as the heir to House Edmund, I must be at least somewhat sociable. But he never bothered to understand how difficult it was for me to do that. But you managed to make friends with me. I'm sure if you keep at it, you'll be able to overcome any difficulties. Maybe you're right. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to get involved with too many people. Why? I only bring misery and misfortune to anyone who gets too close to me. That's not true at all. Why do you even think that? It is true. I know it. Okay, if that's the case, then how is it possible for us to be hanging out right now without any problems? You're right. I should have been more vigilant and kept some distance between us. But you're so kind and I just like being around you. I'm sorry. I'll stay as far away from you as I can from now on. I should go. Hey, wait, Marianne! <sighs> what am I gonna do about her? Yuri's still not back yet? It's been five days. Hmm? What's this? A letter? Not liking to leave his stuff lying around. I wonder if it says anything about where he went. Well, it's just sitting there. Can't hurt to take a peek, right? Are you well? Eating enough? I worry about you all the time. Thank you for sending money always. I want to see you soon. Huh. Is this letter for Yuri? It's got a different name on it. Having fun? Yuri! Wow, you really snuck up on me. When did you get back? Just now. More importantly, why are you snooping through things that don't belong to you? Choose your next word carefully, if you don't want them to be your last. I'm sorry. It was just sitting out in the open, so I thought it'd be okay if I read it. I was worried you weren't coming back. <sighs> Never mind. I can't imagine you'd have a reason to pry into my affairs. I suppose this is what I get for taking off without telling anyone.
And for being so careless. Yeah, I thought you'd be the last person to leave something like this behind. You must have left in a hurry. You could say that. Was it because of the letter? I assume it's from someone in your family. Maybe a little brother or sister? <laughs> My mother, actually. She doesn't really have a way with words, I know. She's always been prone to illness, but lately her condition has grown worse. I try to visit whenever she asks to see me. Obviously there are times when I can't go, but... I have to take all the time I can get, right? I never know which visit will be my final chance to see her. I understand. Once someone's gone, they're gone. But wait, the name on that letter... Is that your real name? So Yuri's an alias and you're really reg... No need to say it. And yes, what parent would call their kid by an alias anyway? Fair point. It's a nice name, though. Why hide it? In my line of work, it pays to have more than a few names. And don't go telling anyone about this. You won't like to find out what happens if you do. I won't. Promise. And if I do slip up, you're free to do your worst. In any case, I am sorry for prying. And for what it's worth, I hope your mom gets better soon. If it were easy to cure, then we wouldn't even be talking about it. But I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Hey, Happy. You got a minute? I have several. Need something? So, I heard a little about your past, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling me more about it. I see. So now you know, huh? Not the most pleasant story. What did you want to know? I was thinking about how you asked all those questions about my mom. And I realized... You were probably worried I went through the same thing as you. Yeah, that about sums it up. You do have those mysterious powers after all. When I was little, some strange lady kidnapped me. I became a test subject for her twisted experiments. That's how I ended up with my condition, or whatever you want to call it. Not that it's life-threatening. Safe to say my mom never did anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'd remember it if she did. She didn't really talk much, but I don't think she had a deceitful bone in her body. Her life was kind of just what you'd expect out in a village like that. She did keep to herself, though. Thinking about it more, it's possible she was on the run from someone. Hmm, that does sound a little worrying. But in any event, I'm glad you didn't go through what I did. And unlike me, it seems you've got a pretty good handle on your powers. Nah, I don't really have full control of them yet. You never know when something might go wrong. One day that sword might overtake me, and I'll turn into a monster. Like something out of a fairy tale. If that ever happens, I'll just sigh, and you'll come running. Then me and all your old friends would put you out of your misery. Now that's a real fairy tale ending. Oh, that won't give me nightmares at all. But if it ever came to it, I think that's how I'd like to go. <sighs> Mercenaries need to use every weapon and tactic at their disposal. Maybe flinging these powers around isn't such a good idea. But right now, I need to do whatever I can to stay alive. Now honestly, I should probably take a page out of your book and only use them as a last resort. I think that's what makes you pretty incredible, Happy. You've got this power right there, 
but choose not to use it. I think that means I just gave up. You're way more amazing because you're still trying. No doubt about it. No, you're the amazing one. And you can't tell me otherwise. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Anyway, was that all? Because I feel like I need to move. Yeah, thanks for talking with me. You going to train? Yep. Figure it couldn't hurt to put in a little effort. You should come too if you're free. I hope to see you there. Come to think of it. Experiments, huh? What did that dream even mean? Oh, what a mess. I've really done it this time. Her Majesty is the kindest person I know, so she's likely not upset with me, but I still cannot bring myself to face her. Hello, Monica. What brings you to this particular wall for conversation? What do you want, Hubert? I lack the energy to keep you company right now, so please just... leave me alone. <laughs> Very well. I thought you might be interested to know that Lady Edelgard was overcome with grief as she told me how deeply she regrets wounding you with her words. But as you desire solitude, I will endeavor to keep that to myself. Good day. She did? And wait, did you not just tell me what she said? Hmm? Oh, not at all. I was merely speaking to myself. There was a painting in Her Majesty's chambers, and... Subtlety is not my strong suit, to put it lightly. I asked her whose child had scribbled on such an expensive canvas, before realizing Her Majesty had actually painted it herself. So she didn't hurt me, I hurt her. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Lady Edelgard can be quite sensitive, despite how she carries herself. Perhaps she was so stunned by your comment that she made a hurtful one of her own in the heat of the moment. You need not let it weigh upon you. Such events are commonplace for me as well. You amaze me, Hubert. How are you not beside yourself at Her Majesty's every utterance? I know I said that I wanted to become her servant, but now I think it may be impossible. Her Majesty is so radiant. I'm not sure I possess the fortitude to bask in that glow every minute of the day. Perhaps some distance between us is better for me. Do you truly believe that? Even though you now have an opportunity to become her servant? Wait, I do? Once this war is settled, Her Majesty will endeavor to tear down the entire concept of the nobility. Her first action will be to separate territory from title, making it so that being a noble no longer means one must lord over some plot of land somewhere. Once she does this, I rather suspect you could remain at her side, even if you do inherit your family's title. You're right. How could I have failed to realize that? I have heard her talk about her plan so many times before, but I never considered what an impact it would have on me. Ah, oh, I am such a fool. Not at all. You simply illustrate what it is to be part of the established system. One is not easily shaken from its structure. This is why Her Majesty takes such drastic measures to rid us of the accepted practice of categorizing individuals as either noble or common. <sighs> Honestly, I don't believe there is another more suited to serving Her Majesty than you. 
but I still will not give up. I'm going to become her servant too, and show everyone a new way of life for the nobility, and for whatever lies beyond. Which means I cannot simply stand here in this state of indecision. There is much work to do. <laughs> I suspected she might be stopped in her tracks for but a moment. And indeed, she has gone and left me in the dust. Well, I cannot permit myself to be left behind in such a fashion. I must keep making progress of my own. Before, I do not have a crest. Why do you insist on hiding it? It can only mean your crest is somehow... Please stop! What's going on here? Lysithia! What were you saying about crests? Go on. I study them every day without fail, so this is extremely relevant to my interests. I do hope you have proof of your theory, though. Spewing out unfounded platitudes will just lead to consequences you definitely don't want. I might not look it, but I'm a general in this army. Ah, well. We were just finishing our conversation. Now if you'll excuse me. Um, thank you, Lysithia. Think nothing of it. I stepped in of my own accord. <sighs> you appear to hold a secret or two regarding crests. Um... Well... No need to answer. We all have things we prefer to keep hidden. <sighs> Still, your situation hits rather close to home for me. Perhaps... Too close. What? So if you ever need assistance, don't hesitate to ask. We secret keepers need to hold strong with each other after all. <clears throat> oh, and I'm not saying this because I pity you. But you clearly find your secret painful. In light of this, maybe I've been bit too harsh on you in the past. Oh no, you haven't been harsh at all. I'm merely envious of how strong and level-headed you always appear to be. I never would have guessed you hold a closely guarded secret just as I do. I'm not gonna tell you, if that's what you're after. Yes, I suspected as much. Still, perhaps you would be willing to hear mine one day? I feel like being around you gives me the courage to finally set it free. I would be happy to hear you out, and also to help rectify the situation if possible. I know quite a bit about Crest's scholarship. That fool talking to you earlier couldn't hold a candle to me. Thank you, Lysithia. I already feel a little bit braver. I'm offering you the full might of my assistance. I hope you can do better than a little. Um, I mean a lot. I know I'm going to feel a lot braver. It's Shammy. Ah, happy. Strange. I didn't take you for the praying type. Good. I'm not. Thought so. Then what are you doing here? Just looking for some peace and quiet. This place seemed like the best option. 
got it. Should I leave you be then? You're fine. I've had enough silence anyway. You don't strike me as the praying type either. What brings you here? Eh, same reason as you, I guess. I just wanted some more quiet. But I don't mind if you're here, Shammy. Alright, mind if I ask you something then? You just did. <laughs> Kidding. Go for it. It just occurred to me, but you used to live in Abyss, right? Under Garrick Mock? Did you ever see a pagan altar or statue down there? Ah, you mean that big hunk of metal with the giant wings? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Hold on, you know about Abyss? Did you go down there when you were a knight? No, before that. Have you heard of the Dagda and Bridget War? After my side lost to the Empire, I was stranded in Fodlan. Somehow I wound up in Abyss. Soon after I started living there, I ran into trouble with someone from the church. Fortunately, Rhea noticed me, and I got hired by the Knights of Saros. Hmm, let me guess. You got into it with Elfie, didn't you? Elfie? The name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. I kind of interrupted you there. Don't worry about it. So, that pagan statue, it's actually of a Dagdan deity. No kidding. You're from Dagda, right? Yes. I think it was the God of Fate. I always wondered how it ended up there. No clue. It's probably been there forever. You know, I remember there was this one foreigner who prayed to it all the time. Like, really prayed. She must have been from Dagda, too. Most likely. It will have to remain a mystery for now. Thanks, Happy. Is there anything you want to ask me? What? Really? Hmm. Let's see. You again, Leone? <laughs> what is it today? Seeing as you're strong as ever, Captain Gerald, I was hoping you'd train with me. Your eyes are playing tricks. I'm an old man. I'd never be able to keep up with you kids at the rate you're improving. You can't mean that. I'm nowhere near a match for you. But hearing that kind of praise from my hero makes me want to devote myself to training even more. Aren't you a little old for childhood heroes? Maybe, but I'm still happy. I worked my whole life to be a mercenary like you, after all. And now I get to fight at your side? Dreams really do come true. I'm glad. It's not often childhood dreams actually come to pass. I recall you always scampering a few paces behind me as a kid. You'd stare at me and ask all kinds of questions, even when I was clearly too busy to answer. Well, I was just hoping you'd teach me about martial arts and tactics and, and that kind of thing. Before your job ended and you left, I mean. You couldn't have learned much. I wasn't there long. Yet here you are, standing strong and tall. You have no one but yourself to thank for that. You grew up without any guidance from this old captain. I'm glad to call you my apprentice. Thank you. I promise to make you proud. And one day, I'm going to surpass you. That's my new dream. <laughs> That's the spirit. And I'm not just surpassing you, but your kid, too. I had no idea they were so strong. Guess the topic never came up when I was in Son. We've both been through a lot. 
I'm jealous about all the time you two got to spend traveling together. I bet their strength is due to your instruction. Uh, all I did was teach the basics of Merc life. Natural talents likely behind the swordsmanship and tactical ability. Which means normal folks like me have to put in a hundred times the effort just to catch up. Don't sell yourself short. I wouldn't have taken you on if you didn't have talent. <laughs>